So today we will discuss about part 3 of glycosides. As we learned that in previous lectures that the glycoside is composed of basically two molecules. Uh, one is sugar portion, another one is non sugar portion. So before uh, going into detail of the structures of steroidal glycosides, let's have idea about the different sugar molecules present in its steroidal glycosides. Here we have three basic molecules of sugar, uh, glucose, this is uh, digitoxose and this is acetyl digitoxose. If you learn the structures of these three sugar molecules, then it will become very easy for you to draw all the structures of steroidal glycosides present in digitalis. So this is the uh, A-glycon, A-glycon portion and uh, you can see that here is the R1 and R2 and you can make three different kind of A-glycons and which are present in different steroidal glycosides in digitalis. And uh, if you want to make digitoxygenin, then what will you do? You will have to replace R1 and R2 with hydrogen atoms. And if you want to make digitoxygenin, then you have to replace R1 with hydrogen and R2 with the hydroxyl group. And if you want to make digoxygenin, then you have to replace R1 with the hydroxyl group and R2 with hydrogen. So, in this way, you can learn how to make a glycon portion of uh, steroidal glycosyl in digitalis. Now these are very simple representations of uh, structures in the form of abbreviations and uh, if you want to make linatoside A then first you have to draw the structure of digitoxygenin and now you know how to make this structure and DEX means this is here you can see a DEX uh, stand for digitoxose, DXAC stand for acetyl digitoxose and G stand for glucose. Now if you want to draw linatoside A, then you first you have to draw the structure of digitoxygen and then you have to attach with carbon number 3, uh, two molecules of digitoxose and one molecule of acetyl digitoxose and one molecule of glucose. So by joining these sugar molecules and the this A glycone portion you can make linatoside A. And then if you want to make acetyl digitoxin then what will you do? And again you have to draw the structure of digitoxygenin and then you have to taste two molecules of digitoxose and one molecule of acetyl digitoxose to the digitoxygenin and then you will obtain acetyl digitoxin. And if you want to make the structure of digitoxin, then simply uh, you will draw digitoxygenin and you will attach three molecules of digitoxose and then you will obtain the molecule of digitoxin. And if you want to make purpuria glycoside A, then you will uh, draw the structure of digitoxygenin, you will attach uh, three molecules of a digitoxose and one molecule of glucose. In this way you can make other structures and uh, uh, you can make all the uh, steroidal glycosides present in digitalis. So we will discuss about what are drug interactions of digital glycosides with other drugs. Uh, digitalis or glycosides present in the digitalis they causes the uh, depletion of potassium in our blood and they uh, increase the concentration of sodium calcium in our body. So accordingly we have to adjust the uh, doses of different drugs uh, which we are taking along with uh, digitoxin or digitalis. Uh, like you have to decrease the thiazoid diuretics or the corticosteroids which also causes depletion of potassium ions or we have to increase the or we have to add dietary supplement, potassium dietary supplements uh, uh, in the diet of the patient or we have to reduce the uh, dose of cardiac glycosides. So we can compensate the potassium uh, depletion in the body and advise the patients to decrease the uptake of calcium in the form of milk or other food supplements. Now the toxicity of digitalis or cardiac glycosides. Digitalis causes uh, different toxic symptoms like anorexia, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, jaundice or yellow vision, and bradycardia. Side effects mm -hmm. abdominal pain, cardiovascular shock, bradycardia, upset stomach, problems with eyesight. Now next is squill. Squill also contains uh, cardiac glycosides. Botanical name of squill is Virginia Sella. 
डेरी में है मेरी टाइम फैमिली ले लिया सी इट हैज़ लार्ज बल्ब विच इज़ एटी टू ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर इन हाइट एंड ट्वेल्व टू फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर इन डायमीटर बल्ब्स आर डग आउट फ्रॉम दी सॉयल इन द एंड ऑफ दस एंड एक्सटर्नल स्केली लीव एंड सेंट्रल पोर्शन आर रिमूव स्लाइसिस आर ड्राइड कम्प्लीटली इन द सन लाइट एंड बाई हीट ऑफ दी स्टोव द ड्रग इज स्टोर इन एयर ट्राइड स्पेशली इन द मॉइस्चर प्रूफ कंटेनर्स स्क्वील कंटेन्स कार्डियोगलाइकोसाइड्स ऑफ पूफा डिनोलाइट्स टाइप्स सो सेलर इन ए एंड बी ग्लूको सेलर इन ए एंड प्रो सेलर इन ए दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ कार्डियोगलाइकोसाइड्स It also contains enzymes like selatinase and other constituents present in squill are flavonoids, mucilages, and volatile oils. And this is the structure of uh, glycoside present in chemical squill. tests for the identification of the glycosides present in squill. They show negative results for the Belger test and Legal test, while uh, the squill glycosides show positive tests for Leberman's Tyrol test. It is used as expectorant, diuretic, cardiac tonic to treat. chronic bronchitis and asthma